So it looks like the Philadelphia Eagles um, have got some contracts done. Looks like the Eagles have um, signed a tight end to a one-year deal. And um, looks like the Eagles picked up a special teams guy on an invite to training camp. Very interesting um, on some of that news, too. So let's go through all of this news. I'm ready to go. Rookie minicamp is tomorrow. Very excited. Let's get straight into it. Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? Welcome to Grid. A fantastic day. So I want to go over some of the news for the Philadelphia Eagles. Rookie minicamp is the May 5th to May 6th, which is great. The offseason program is starting to roll. And really after rookie minicamp, we have a little bit of time um, that we're going to be separated from football. And, you know, it's going to be quiet for a while. So, um, but the Eagles, there's some updates for today as well, as well as the contracts. Looks like the Philadelphia Eagles have got um, a few contracts done as of right now. Um, Jalen Carter's contract is done to uh, QB Tanner McKee and uh, obviously our uh, seventh round pick and defensive tackle Moro Jomo his contract is done um, as well um, but for really what we kind of want to see what the contract was going to look like for Jalen Carter the news that did come out on the Jalen Carter contract that is a four-year 21 million dollar deal fully guaranteed um, so there's some fans that are like, oh, well, there's no clause in this contract. A lot of fans, there's still a lot of fans that aren't happy with this pick. I don't really care. Uh, there's still a lot of fans that are, you know, like, well, there's no clause in this contract. He should only make a certain amount of money on good behavior or whatever. So there's people been really complaining about it. Um, I, I think everyone needs to put this to bed. You know, he's drafted here. It's done. It's over with. People need to stop complaining about it. Um and you know what? I had no issue drafting him as much as a lot of people didn't agree with his pro day. He had a lot going on this offseason. Obviously, the stuff in Athens, what happened. I understand that. You know, Ruben Frank had some comments that really didn't sit well with the front office on why they drafted Jalen Carter, moved up and gave up a fourth round pick at nine. Um, you know, the Eagles know him best. We don't know anything. We're just reading stuff at the end of the day. OK, we have to really look into ourselves and say, you know what? I'm reading stuff, but, you know, there's a lot of people out there that want to paint a really bad picture on, you know, that's where you get the entertainment from on looking at reports and stuff like that. And then I think with Tracy Rocker here, I think um, having that support system with N'Kobe Dean, um, you know, Jordan Davis, Jordan Davis was a big mentor to um, Jalen Carter and obviously having Nolan Smith here I think the support group that he has here is really going to help him okay a lot of people make dumb mistakes I think all of us have made really stupid mistakes in our youth um, and that's just what it is I think from how Jalen Carter was at the draft how emotional he was I, I think that really set the tone of like I think that was the moment where it really changed his life um, because, you know, you can see guys get upset during the draft, not upset in a bad way, but they get emotional. But to see Jalen Carter that emotional um, what was kind of a big one for me um, and just seeing his reaction to getting drafted to a place where obviously he really wanted to go <laughs> because of his teammates were going to be here. Obviously, at that moment when he was drafted, he didn't know Nolan Smith was going to be there as well. But um, I think people just need to support this guy. I think we all need to support him. Um and uh and do our thing as fans you know what i mean like i think once we see, see him playing and with that support system that he has and i think getting drafted here really changed his life around i think it's going to do that and um i feel really good about it i had no problem drafting him he was the second best player on my board and uh you know i like the contract fully guaranteed that's what it should be first round picks you get fully guaranteed contracts and obviously the eagles think of him as a a big impact player um you know, you think of J you think of Jalen Carter as an impact player, and I I'm telling you, it's it's going to change our defensive line. It's going to change this line for years. Um, you know what I mean? So I'm very happy about it, and um, that's the news. That's really the only detail. So Nolan Smith hasn't been signed yet. We'll figure what that what what that contract is going to look like as of right now. Um, so should be very fun. Uh, so I'm excited to see the rest of these contracts going forward. Now, um, interesting news. So. Eagles bringing in receivers, right? Bigger receivers, um, especially not receivers that haven't played with Hurts and obviously receivers that have played with Jalen Hurts in the past. And obviously Charles Rambo um, is another one that the Eagles are bringing in um, as well. And Rambo played with 
Jalen Hurts at Oklahoma. I think he was a transfer um, from I think he was a transfer from Oklahoma to Miami, and then he was undrafted by the Panthers, and then he went to the XFL after that. I don't think he did much in the NFL. Went to the XFL, and then decided to do a tryout for the Philadelphia Eagles to all, all throughout this training camp. So he has been invited to training camp, and guys like Jaden Hazelwood, you know, guys like that that have played with Jalen Hurts to have really good chemistry with him. Obviously, when I watched Oklahoma, um, you know. Charles Rambo was a big target for him. Um, guys got some size to him too. Pause, but um, you know a lot of guys that are over six foot, six foot one. You know, you know bigger receivers, which I like that they've been bringing in um, a little bit. So nice to see that they bring in. You know, I know I understand it's camp. They have, they're bringing in a lot of receivers. Dutch training camp. Yes, I know that. Uh, but bringing in guys that. Hertz has played with is definitely a plus uh, too because the chemistry will probably be already there. Can't wait to see Jalen Hurts kind of take these guys and you know maybe practice with these guys, you know all the receivers and getting to know all the guys and I think it's going to be great. So like that they've been bringing in a lot of um, receivers um, and you know I think you know you're going to have some good competition. I think there's going to be at least two guys uh, that might make the team. You never know. Obviously Joseph Nagata from um, Clemson they paid the most money to at two hundred thirty thousand for the offseason season which is great um you know so uh, the eagles are kind of looking for more depth at receiver because really behind your starters and quez and and you know Devonte smith and aj brown and uh zacchaeus that they signed um you know from the falcons uh which which was a really good one as a pure slot receiver i think they um you know could be looking at keeping six to seven receivers now with Britton covey devin allen or just special teams guys will probably never get chances which a lot of these other guys could probably beat them um as of right now as depth so you never know how many guys they could keep um, you know, so we'll see. The wide receiver room should be very uh, functional, and obviously, iron sharpens iron. You have great guys on defense um, to really put these guys to the test and get these guys get each other better. At the same time, you go through your mini camp, your training camp. Uh, you know, through these preseason games, joint practices, all that great stuff. So uh, bringing a guy like, um, you know, uh, Charleston Rambo is is great. I think just just playing with Jalen Hurts, you know, uh, obviously with some ha Hazelwood has played with Jalen Hurts. Uh, Calcaterra has played with Jalen Hurts and he's made the team and he's done a pretty good job here. So uh, very excited for the wide receiver room going into camp in general and other positions, too. So this is a good one. Um, now, the one I'm actually really excited to talk about is Jaden Hall. Shout out to Philly Philly, the podcast, and Joe Castro. Um, I'll have his link in the description. Follow him on Twitter and follow his YouTube page as well on some information on uh, they invited um, Jaden Hall. It was a Western, I think, Western Michigan uh, to a Western Michigan, a Western Kentucky uh, transfer, um, a special teamer. Now, interesting enough, I looked at him and um, – yeah, he's – and I had to do a double take to make sure I was looking at the right guy. This guy's 6'4", 175 pounds, okay, and a special teamer as well, receiver and special teamer, which is pretty good. Um, so looked at a lot of, you know, information – on him so said here so Jaden Hall okay has been invited to rookie minicamp here so 69 catches for 869 yards last year and six touchdowns one CUSA special teams uh, player of the week twice okay he had nine punt returns okay for 106 yards and a touchdown this season so this guy's tall I mean it's 6'3 but probably uh, really skinny um, you know, to see how much, I don't know what his 40 is. I don't know. I, I tried looking for that information. I couldn't find it, but obviously have some, I mean, you're not bringing him in as a wide receiver. They're obviously bringing this guy in for special teams. So did they find their guy at special teams? I don't know. I haven't watched much on him. Maybe I'll try to watch him tape, uh, to see a little bit more. Like I said, I haven't watched him at all. This news just came out today on, on Jaden Hall. So, uh, this would be a really interesting one if they could find, you know, even I was kind of looking, uh, at the undrafted free agents or guys they invite to rookie mini camp or you know they are to train camp I should say um, and then once they do their cuts in August I would figure you know they have to cut their roster down from 90 to 53 in one day that's a new rule this year um, in August which that's a lot of cuts but 
it's a positive too because the Eagles can actually get a good player from another team maybe a special teams guy that didn't make it as a wide receiver or they couldn't there's a team out there that had to let somebody go that really produced really well uh, in preseason or some of the joint practices and stuff um, so getting a guy like him you know to add another weapon give Covey some competition uh, Devin Allen's another one that they you know they they just never you know give, gave him a chance I'm not saying that Covey's not good I think he's flashed a lot he's just very raw right now um, you know Michael Clay is just a really bad special teams coach I think the biggest weakness now is obviously punter obviously you know kick return punt return the blocking schemes who they're putting in uh, at certain points to, to help these guys get better returns I think that's on Michael Clay at the end of the day uh, but hopefully you know Jaden Hall makes some noise it'd be nice if we just see another guy just explode pause um, and uh, you know get the receiving yards that we can get and get a monster back there for years to come would be fantastic. We haven't had a good kick returner since Josh Huff. We haven't had a good punt returner since Darren Sproles. It's been since really 2014, 2000, I would say 2015. It's been the last time we had successful special teams. I mean, yeah, it's really that bad right now. You know what I mean? I don't want to put Devontae Smith back there or Quez Watkins. You know, I don't want to uh, – situational. Don't put Devontae Smith back there for back there for a situational, like, oh, let's put him back there. You know, if we back these – you know, back a team up inside their end zone, they're punting, and we want to put Devontae Smith back there. I don't want to risk any injury because really, like, with Devontae Smith being at, back there, it's just going to take one hit for him to get hurt, you know, knock on wood. Um, but to get another body in there like Jaden Hall would be pretty nice. Um, so this, uh, six, three, you know, special teamer, you know, hopefully got some speed to him. So very excited about that. And lastly, the Eagles signed Dan Arnold. They actually got a tight end in the building guys, 26 years old, um, has been with the Jaguars for the past few years. I think his longest reception last year was 26 yards against us. Um, actually in that, in that really bad weather game in Philadelphia, um, you know, I think he had like four or 500 yards. I think two years ago, last year, he had like over a hundred, it was like 135 yards. Wasn't much, uh, but, uh, a, a somewhat vet, you know, to get, cause really I was surprised the Eagles never got a tight end real late in the draft. I was surprised the Eagles didn't, I mean, maybe where they're not done inviting more players to camp, but I think he's really the only tight end that they're bringing in. That's different from what we have right now. Cause really between Dallas Goddard, um, Grant Calcaterra, Jack Stahl and Tyree Jackson, um, now they bring in um, now they bring in Dan Arnold. OK, so, you know, it is a bigger body type tight end is a lot more in the league that we've seen. So, um, you know, nothing much to really go crazy about. You know what I mean? But uh, a down year last year for Dan Arnold with 135 yards, nothing crazy. Uh, but more competition to the tight end room at the end of the day. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, I like Calcaterra a lot. Um, I think he's become a better, a good blocker. I think it's been a nice balance. I think he's our fastest. Uh, I think our, our probably the more speed you get out of Calcaterra um, and a nice balance with blocking as well. I think he's done a really good job. I, I like to see them use more of him. Um, if, if Arnold comes in and beats somebody, it'll probably be Jack Stahl. Um, if that's the case, I think this is more for Jack Stahl in competition really for, than really Calcaterra because I still think they will keep three tight ends on the roster regardless. Um, you know, so I wouldn't make a big deal out of this, but this is like, if he actually becomes a good debt piece, you know, you bring in guys and they start signing, you know, the Eagles keep them on the active roster. It's a good sign that they've been looking at the right people. So he signed a one year deal with the Eagles. I don't know if this is, this, this is just a tryout most likely for him. Um, you know, obviously has. As from the backups that we have right now, Dan Arnold has the most experience, but is he the best one? And Tyree Jackson's probably not going to do much of anything. Is I think I've given up at this point. The guy can't stay healthy. I think at six seven, big hand, you know, really good hands. Um, you know, the pro he just can't stay on his own two feet. That's just the only issue um, with Tyree Jackson right now. So. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. We talked about the contracts with Jalen Carter and some of the other guys. Um, you know, do you like the numbers uh, for Jalen Carter? Obviously, you got Rambo in the building, has a lot, you know, of, you know, chemistry with Jalen Hurts, which is great, you know, for a tryout. Jane, can Jane Hall be the next special teamer for the Philadelphia Eagles um, if that's what they're using him for? Because that's what it looks like right now. So other than that, it's pretty much 
it. Rookie minicamp is starting. Um, I think tomorrow, whenever I put this video out, whether it's going to be today, tomorrow, whenever you're watching it. Um, if you guys lasted this long as well, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video as well. I do appreciate it so much uh, from all the all the off-season support, all the content that's been coming out. I appreciate everybody that's been that's been looking at it and uh, you know talking to each other about what's been going on. This roster is pretty good right now, and uh, the more competition, the better competition they bring in. I hope I hope there's some guys that make noise. I hope there's a lot more guys that make noise, and I, I think this is a pretty good undrafted free agent class. I think it's really good. Um, especially for at wide receiver. I um, think it's awesome because now even with Quez, you brought in Zacchaeus, you got all these other receivers now, and it's great. I like it. I like it so much. Joseph Nagata, Jaden Has uh, Hazelwood, and now you got, obviously, uh, you got Rambo, and now you got Jaden Hall too, So, which is great. So other than that, guys, I will see you guys on the next one. You guys have a fantastic day. Shakes what up. Follows up. Peace out, guys. Peace.